Hey everybody, welcome to Windows Girls, Come on, Views and Files, welcome to Tony. If you guys want to see how to um, properly put on a mask and um, gloves, please stay tuned. Alright y'all, so hey everybody, so since we are going through this um, virus, this type of, this pandemic and things of that sort, I thought it would be um, great for me to come on here um, to um, read from a source and let you guys know um, how to properly put on gloves, take them off, um, washing your hands, and also if you are wearing masks, how to properly put them on and take them off without self-inoculating yourself. And we'll also get into that as well if you guys do not know what that means. And we'll get into some more terms and things of that sort because there are going to be some terms that you may not know if you're not in the medical field. Field. Um, my mom is a registered nurse you guys know this and I thought this would be a good time to just come on here and talk about it because this is about us protecting ourselves and um, being able to know um, you know about PPE which is personal protective equipment if you guys do not know that and if you guys are going to wear these um, protective um, these PPE items then you need to know how to properly um, do this and you know I am in the healthcare field I am you know I work with mentally disabled people so we are also practicing PPE as well and um, so I thought let's just get into it okay all right so here we go um all right so since a lot of people are wearing gloves we're going to start with the gloves and I'm going to show you how on the side as I'm reading and things of that sort you're probably going to think it's boring but hey so um, I'm reading from the Hartman's nurse and assistant care which is the basics fifth edition okay all right so putting on gloves donning okay donning gloves okay that's what that means first you're going to wash your hands if you're right-handed slide one glove on your left hand reverse if left-handed using your glove hand slide the other hand into the second glove interlace your fingers smooth out folds and create a comfortable fit carefully look for tears holes or spots replace the glove if needed adjust the gloves until they're put up pull up over your wrist and fit correctly if wearing a gown pull the cuffs cuffs off um, pull the cuffs of the gl gloves over the sleeves of the gown all right now that's how you apply the gloves okay you have to wash your hands first then when you are taking off the gloves removing um doffing gloves that's what that means doffing um touch only the outside of one glove with one glove hand grasp the other glove at the palm and and pull the glove off grasp the glove at the palm and pull it off okay you could do that and with the fingertips of your gloved hand hold the glove you just removed with your ungloved hand slip two fingers underneath the cuff of the remaining glove at the wrist do not touch any part of the outside of the glove okay then it says pull down turning this glove inside out and over the first glove as you remove it you should now be holding one glove from its clean inner side the other glove should be inside it Drop both gloves into the proper container without contaminating yourself and wash your hands, okay? So I'm showing you on the side how to properly do it and I'm also probably going to show you um, the picture as well, okay? And that's basically it about that. All right, so that's just basically it, okay? So, um, hmm, now, now as far as the gloves are concerned, I mean, as far as the mask is concerned, um, let's just see here. Okay, putting on donning mask and goggles, okay? So you wash your hands first, then pick up the mask by the top strings or elastic strap. Do not touch the mask where it touches your face. Pull the elastic straps over your head or if the mask has strings, tie the top strings first and then the bottom strings. Do not wear a mask hanging from only the bottom ties or straps. Pinch the metal strip at the top of the mask, if part of the mask, tightly around your nose so it feels snug. Fit the mask snugly around your face and below the chin. Place the goggles over your eyes or eyeglasses. Use the headband or earpieces to secure them to your head. Make sure they are on snugly. Put on gloves after putting on the mask and goggles, okay? Do not put on the mask while you have your gloves on, okay? Right. Um, so that's just basically about that, okay? So that means dawning, dawning. Okay, putting on donning. Um, let's see. All right, so that's how you properly put on the mask, okay? And also I wanna say when you're taking the mask off, 
um, do not take the mask off with the gloves that you've been outside with, okay? Taking off the mask and stuff like that. No, you should probably do the same thing as far as the strings and things of that sort or whatever the case is. If you are, if you want to remove the mask, I would say to take off your gloves, wash your hands again, do the donning method, wash your hands again. Okay, so you're gonna do donning and doffing. Putting on, donning, putting on, and removing doffing gloves, okay? All right, because I'm trying to look to see um, uh, when, how to take it off, but they're not telling you how to take it off. But yeah, so it's okay. Also, when you are washing your hands, I'm also going to read from here as well. When you are washing your hands, you are going to turn on the water at the sink. Keep your clothes dry. Wet hands and wrists thoroughly and apply soap to your hands. Keep your hands lower than your elbows and, and, your, and your fingertips down. Rub hands together and fingers between each other to create a lather. Lather all surfaces of wrists, hands, and fingers using friction for at least 20 seconds. Clean your nails by rubbing them in the palm of your hand and um, because most pathogens on hands are under the nails. Keep your hands lower than your elbows and your fingertips down, being careful not to touch the sink. Rinse thoroughly under running water. Rinse all surfaces of your wrists and hands. Run water down from your wrists to your fingertips. Do not run water over under washed arms down to clean hands. Water should run from cleanest to dirtiest wrists or cleanest fingertips are dirtiest. Use a clean dry paper towel to dry all surfaces of your fingers, hands and wrists starting at the fingertips. Do not wipe the towel on unwashed forearms and then wipe your clean hands. Discard the towel in the waste container um, in the waste, I'm sorry, um, in the waste container without touching the container. If your hands touch the sink or waste basket, start over. Use a clean, dry paper towel to turn off the faucet. Discard the towel in the waste container. Do not contaminate your hands by touching the surface of the sink or faucet or the doorknob. I added that, the doorknob, okay? So that's just basically about that. All right, so I know um, it probably seemed a little silly to talk about hand washing, but there are some people that literally put soap on their hands, Go like this for two seconds and they're at the bathroom. No, you are not destroying or getting rid of any germs that you have may come in contact with, um, you know, throughout the day or wherever you went or whatever the case is. So it's always good to practice proper hygiene. And I hope and pray that a lot of you are doing this, especially now. And when this pandemic is over, please do not stop doing this. Okay. Continue to do this because the more cleaner we are, the more that we cannot past germs now of course we're gonna have the common cold and things of that sort but at the end of the day we can you know dwindle down the number of people that gets the cold or gets the flu or whatever the case is viruses whatever that we can contract from you know people coughing and you know onto the doorknobs and coughing in the air whatever the case is you know we can avoid that by simply washing our hands with soap and water it doesn't have to be antibacterial it doesn't have to be any fancy soap dove whatever the case is go to the dollar store and get you that dollar soft soap or whatever soap that you use and then definitely do it plain nice traditional hand soap and water is what's going to help you get rid of the germs that you have in your hands okay so let's not be too lazy because if you're going to be lazy that means you want to get whatever that you're trying to avoid okay don't half step do what you're supposed to do okay and I know a lot of people are now aware of washing their hands, but was you aware prior to? There always have been the common cold, there always have been the flu, there has other things that have come out in this world. So have you been practicing proper hygiene? Please let me know. If not, you need to start from now on and continue. When this pandemic, when this pandemic is over, don't be like, oh, I don't gotta wash your hands. Yes, you do. That's dirty and nasty, okay? You, when you come in the house, I was always taught by my parents, wash your hands. You came from the grocery store, you came from this store, you driving all out in the elements, stuff like that, you better wash your hands, especially if you about to eat food and you about to eat food with a fork and stuff like that, put your hands by your face and stuff like that. No, you're going to wash your hands. You don't want to sit up there, come in the house, plop, you know, watch TV, plop on the computer, pop on this, watching, um, you know, a YouTube, um, you know, show or whatever the case is. Wash your hands. That's dirty. 
Okay, that's dirty and nasty. So when you come home, you sit down, you plop down, you're touching everything, you're touching the remote, you're touching the computer keys, stuff like that. You're passing germs and germs just flinging all around you. You know how that that um from um from um from Charlie Brown when when the, the guy had like dust that little boy had dust following him what was his name was it Linus I forgot his name whatever that was following him that's that's you okay if you don't wash your hands up you got germs floating all over you you got a dust party coming behind you you don't want that all right so let's wash your hands okay you shouldn't uh, wait people shouldn't be uh, it's mind-boggling to me people shouldn't have to tell you to wash your hands you should have been learning this back when you was growing up from your parents or your guardians like what happened unless they taught you and you just became lazy you can't be lazy with being clean okay clean yourself okay y'all like to, y'all take showers baths or whatever the case is wash your hands okay and especially in your on your fingernails you know you don't want your fingernails on any looking yellow and dingy and dirty you need to get that if you got to do a, a deep scrub get you a q-tip and get up under there you see what i'm saying especially if you probably have false nails or nails if you go to the you know nail salon and stuff like that get the q-tip and get up under there you i want to see soap soap gotta be up under there you gotta get there okay you gotta get there all right that's what you have to do it may seem like it's too much but in the all at the end of the day it will save you from being like miserable with a cold or whatever virus that's around here today okay or any other day after this so eliminate all that all right please all right like people shouldn't be telling you to wash your hands boo like sis bruh like that's dirty Ew. get away from me and every time you cough or if you cough in your hand by mistake, wash your hands. You see, wash your hands. Don't put no hand sanitizer on. I'm going to need for you to get that soap and water. No, if I see somebody at work with somebody and they cough in their hand, I'm like, oh, <laughs> go to that sink and go to that. And I'm sorry. You said, sorry, not sorry. You're not about to be sitting up in here and we will have germs floating around and you over here coughed in your hand and you don't want to wash. No. Soap and water. Go get it. <laughs> At any rate, <laughs> I don't got time for it. All right. So just wash your hands 20 seconds or more. 20 seconds or sing the happy birthday song they said or something like that. Do something. And that will give you time to think about certain things or whatever the case is. Like, let's not half step, y'all. Wash your hands. This ain't doing it. One, two, and you're out. No, that's not doing it. You need to you need to get up in there. You need to get up in there. Get up in there. Get up in there. Do all this. Dr. Oz was like, do all this. You know, do all this. Get the thumbs. You know, you got to clean. You got to do it. You got to do it, boo. Come on now. Get it together like 702. Get it together. Get it together. I don't really want to go. I don't really want to stay. Oh, wait. Is it? uh can we get how <laughs> do we stop but anyway we gotta have fun with this as well so you know but at any rate i'm always trying to sing song okay i know <laughs> but at any rate um y'all that's just basically it about that just wash your hands i almost forgot to talk about this like i cut off my camera set my in there and i forgot so i gotta add this clip in <laughs> so yeah so that's basically it about that y'all so i hope you guys learned something and um i mean this should be you know as far as washing hands um is concerned um but i think a lot of people didn't know about the 20 seconds that that's the you know the longest that you're supposed to wash your hands but now that you know let's practice it okay don't be slack with it let's not rush the process okay i don't care if you got to make a phone call to sally all right y'all shouldn't be even talking to sally because i'm always talking about them okay but anyway if you gotta make a call to sally or Susie or whatever the case is you got they have to wait okay if your phone ringing if it's not an emergency they gotta have to wait you have to wash your hands okay and also one more thing with your phone um you want to sanitize that as well you want to take it and then if you want to do with gloves you can do that too so you have to take some uh, alcohol um pad or um cotton ball and take that um alcohol and um you know um i said alcohol cotton ball a cotton ball or um a pad and you know if you have alcohol pads that works as well and wipe your phone down if you got a case 
take it take it off the case wipe the inside of the case and then let it dry for a little bit and then put everything back together and your phone is sanitized try to sanitize your phone at least probably twice out the day i know a lot of people don't think about this but do that and if you don't can do it twice out the day just remember when you get home if you're in for the day um remember to sanitize that phone and that's basically about that um if you're at work or whatever the case is if, if you got alcohol there if you want to sanitize it while you're at work do that and then when you come home sanitize it whatever the case is so you could just run you know you could just reduce the risk of you know passing germs um to yourself to your family members and things of that sort so that's just basically about that so i wanted to put that in there as well i forgot about that so yeah please sanitize your phone as well okay and also with hand sanitizers they also said um that um when you're putting it on don't take a paper towel and dry it off let it dry on its own when you're putting it on put it all over cover the surfaces and it's only temporary so when you get to your destination to where that you're going to be at for a while wash your hands Okay, wash your hands. That's just only temporary. And also, keep your hands out your T-zone area. Eyes, nose, mouth. Okay, and ears. I'll say ears too. Um, keep it out, out of that area when you're out. Don't take your hand and go like this. Or if you got sun in your eye, then you're just going to have to leave it there until you get somewhere, until you get soap and water, and you can take it out. Okay, I mean, this is this is what it is. All right, so just please keep your hands out your face. Um, you know, do the social distancing. Stay six feet away from certain people. Um, you know, that's basically about that. Do the fist pump. Or the elbow, you know, handshaking and stuff like that. Not right now. So, you know, that's basically about that. And refrain, I guess, from hugs and stuff like that. So just try to, you know, protect yourself, okay? Protect yourself, and that's what you're basically supposed to do, okay? Especially when you're working in the healthcare field and things of that sort, you want to make sure that you are protecting yourself because you're going back home to your family members and you don't want to pass on something to them because you was out there, you know, working and you didn't use do the proper uh, measures to protect yourself, okay? So that's just basically about that. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry to keep this long, um, but I just need to come on here to just talk about it because, you know, even though a lot of people are talking about this, um, I still want to come in here and put my two cents to talk about it as well because everybody should have something to contribute to what is going on in this world because everybody is affected. It's not just you, not just me. It's everybody. So let's just all, you know, basically work together to try to help each other out. Whatever information that you have or whatever that uh, other knowledge that you have, definitely share it because that's what I'm doing that's why I have a platform that's why I have a channel so I can share it with you guys you see what I'm saying you know what I'm saying and if I'm wrong on anything or you know whatever the case is as far as medical wise or whatever the case is check me on it in a respectful way like y'all usually do and put it down in the comment section below but let me know if you guys already know this let me know I know um, some of you guys are nurses doctors stuff like that let me know and that's just basically about that all right I want I want you guys to be safe and that's just it all right so that's just basically about that all right so basically um, I know a lot of people are probably like why would you wash your hands after you done took the gloves off nice and properly well to answer that is that there may be some you know bacteria or or some type of germs that has still went through your hand if you probably didn't put on and on properly or something must have went wrong or there was probably a small tiny hole somewhere that you couldn't see even though you checked um there might be a small hole somewhere you never know so just to be on the safe side when you remove your gloves properly you wash your hands just to be on the safe side okay and that's just basically about that so i just wanted to come on here and tell you guys about that because if you're going to wear these masks if you're going to wear these gloves you need to know how to properly take put them on take them off and things of that sort because you don't want to self inoculate yourself and we're going to get into that so snuff self inoculation okay so i took this from the very well health website okay auto inoculation or self inoculation occurs when a person transfer a disease from one part of their body to another self inoculation frequently happens when someone scratches or rubs a sore and then touches uninfected skin many diseases can be spread by self inoculation in this way all right so meaning um you know you don't want to say for instance um you have your gloves on you done touch the shopping cart touch everything this is even when you have your hands bare and you're touching everything bam you touch your face okay um you don't know if someone sneezed on the car you don't know if someone sneezed on the hand and then placed their hand on the handle you don't know what germs are circulating if someone did that then you're basically self-inoculating yourself so if you do not take off your gloves properly some people take it off the improper way and then they think it's okay if that's how you take it off no because the one way that i'm going to show you that you're taking it off by the fingertips um you're basically um spreading stuff so you don't want to take your bare hand and touch the glove that is wrong 
okay you don't want to pull up at the glove because if you're pulling like that you can easily probably tear open or something like that so you're not really protecting yourself because you may open a tear that probably was there or whatever the case is so you have to try to do it the way that um it is properly that it has to be done okay so that's basically all about that and you're probably like well why i have to i have to wash my hands first and then i have because prior to putting on your gloves you probably done touched everything probably at work you're probably just came in from the house you're probably even though you was in the house still wash your hands and then put the gloves on because then it's like no point in you putting the gloves on because you have germs in the hands mixing and mingling they also said in the book if the glove is torn or if the glove is wet or things of that sort it's time for you to take the gloves are off do not wear your gloves for a very long period of time because sometimes um the gloves can get sticky they could get you know very wet um and holes can start to um you know come about especially if you have nails so you have to make sure if you're wearing it for a long period of time make sure you do not see those type of changes in the gloves if you do definitely do the same method that you did when you put the gloves on do the method that i just spoke about when you take the gloves off okay so this is just a safety precaution to do because it's just to help you you know um try to get this through this pandemic and even even without the pandemic these are practices that have been going on for years in the healthcare field so if you have any questions definitely ask your healthcare provider or someone in your family that that deals with you know healthcare as far as nurses doctors um anything of the sort home health aides or whatever the case is you know um practicing ppe um is definitely definitely the way to go um i would go into gowns and stuff like that but you know i don't see anybody doing that to that extreme but if somebody does please look it up and see how to properly put on gowns how to properly put on face shields and stuff like that because if you are going to wear this equipment definitely be knowledgeable of how to put it on and take it off because you don't want to what self inoculate yourself okay so that's just basically about that you guys i think i'm pretty much done i just wanted to come on here and just to let you guys know on how to put on gloves um the proper way how to take it off the proper way i'm not trying to say i know everything like i said before my mom is a registered nurse i'm also in the mental health field so i'm also doing these um techniques as well and also you know um letting my co-workers know um things of that sort because um we all have to protect ourselves from certain things and try not to you know um you know um don't think that you know everything if you don't know how to take off a glove or if you think that you know whatever the case is ask them out ask somebody ask questions ask because you just never know what the next person might know you know what i mean so i hope you guys um i know a lot of you guys probably know about this but there are some people out there that do not know how to properly put on gloves or properly take them off or the mask as well so if you like uh, once again if you're going to wear these ppe equipment um, if you're going to wear these, um, if you're going to practice PPE, if you're going to wear this equipment, then I suggest that you read up, get more knowledge and research on how to properly put it on and take it off. Okay. And I definitely will answer in the video if I forgot anything. If I made a mistake, please let me know. I'm not, I'm not, you know, a nurse or a doctor, but I do deal with mentally um, disabled um, clients and I do practice this at my job during this time and even before this time, you know especially with the things that we do so um yeah so definitely definitely take this into um consideration um if you have any questions please let me know if you have anything that you want to contribute to this please let me know as far as putting your comments and everything down i'm sorry in the comment section below I, again i thought this would be a great video to put out because i see a lot of people out here with the mask and the gloves and i just want to know are you do you know how to take them off and um and put them on because if you're trying to protect yourself and you're doing it the wrong way you're only harming yourself okay that's just basically it about that you guys all right if you guys have any questions coming concerns please let us as it comes to the other thing that's my kid gmail.com I'm just still continuing to pray um, for myself and everyone else and my family and my friends. And hopefully we will get through this pandemic as quickly as it has came. I 
you know, um, to those of you that are working, um, continue to be safe because I'm still um, working because of the field that I'm in. So I'm definitely protecting myself and definitely I'm um, keeping my immune system up and doing what I'm supposed to do in order to avoid contracting this virus, okay? And that's just basically about that. And I hope you guys are doing the same. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate your time. Um, and I hope you guys are being safe and um, doing something productive in your home um, since you are inside and can't really go anywhere. So, um, and thank you so much. So, um, and that's just basically about that. All right, I'm out of here, you guys. Continue to be blessed, be safe. And um, that's just basically about that. All right, peace, bye.